Hey quarantine chefs, thanks again for coming back and kicking it with me in the kitchen. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below and tell a friend to tell a friend because y'all know y'all can't cook. So on today's menu, we are headed to the island, of course, the one and only beautiful island of Jamaica. Jamaica, Jamaica. So um, today we will be cooking up some Escovish fish. Of course, I am Jamaican. Don't get it twisted, okay? So this is Escovish fish and this is what it consists of. So we have snapper, which make sure you get your snapper, um, you know, cleaned, cut the fins off, you do the two slices so you can put seasoning in there, and also make sure you season the inside of the fish, okay? What I have seasoned this fish with was an actual um, season that was made and given to me by my grandmother, because she's a chef as well. So this is fish seasoning, okay? But I'm gonna give you some other ingredients you can actually season the fish with. Of course, you have here your garlic powder, your all-purpose seasoning, of course, your, gar uh, your onion powder, black pepper, okay? a little jerk seasoning if you would like, and some salt. And this is what we're going to use to make the Escovish sauce. So basically, it consists of carrots, onions, and of course, some scotch bonnet pepper, okay? In this sauce, it is accompanied by some vinegar, of course. So we have two cups of vinegar, one cup of water, and some sugar to make it sweet. You can do about, I would say, mm, two tablespoons of sugar or four, depends on you. What I'm also gonna toss in this Escovish sauce is some of this, if you know what this is, you know what this is. This is some allspice, or as we call it, pimenta seed, okay? Pimenta seed. We also gonna put some bay leaves in the Escovish sauce, and of course, this is the scotch bonnet. I live in a state where we don't have this in the store, so I get it shipped. What we're pairing the fish with is some homemade rice and peas. Rice and peas. So we have the rice, duh, all right? Our rice and peas is made with coconut milk, so we use canned coconut milk. Season your rice water with some onion powder and some garlic powder and um, we use peas. You can use two different types of peas, it depends on your preference and how long you want to take to cook. Canned peas are quicker, so red kid kidney peas or kidney beans in a can works well or the, the bad beans that you have to actually cook, which takes like 45 minutes. You boil the beans and you know, boil them, boil the water out, add more water until they are cooked. So we have, um, lastly, what we're pairing that with is some cornbread. So my cornbread, of course, milk, butter, egg, and some sour cream. So I would advise to cook these items in a particular step. I would cook the rice first, of course, because rice takes longer to cook than fish, okay? Then we're gonna fry the fish. While we're frying the fish, we're gonna go ahead and start making the fish sauce. We can make the cornbread last. Come on, let me go fry a fish. A fish fry this. Let's go. <laughs> All right guys, what we have here is the boiling coconut milk, which I use this type of coconut milk, a can of this, and um, two cups of water. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put my rice in here. Okay, I'm gonna season my, my water, or my rice water a little bit. And what I put is onion powder and garlic powder all the time. Those are my favorites. Just to give it a little flavor, um, you could just you could do a tablespoon of each. I'm just you know eyeballing right now, but it is like a tablespoon of each um, for this recipe. Just checking on the rice and make sure when you're making this rice, use a fork. Fork allows it to have the rice, the grains, to separate properly, so it's like nice and fluffy. Um, and just rake it through, mix it around, get what's on the bottom to the top. We're gonna go ahead and actually cook each side for six minutes a piece, okay? And then we're gonna flip it, cook the other side for six minutes. All right, so now the rice is done. As you can see, it's like real flaky, you know? 
like you could actually scrape the grains apart. Fluffy, nice and beautiful. Okay, so it's all done, rice is done. All right, it's been six minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and split them, okay. Another six minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting my pot with the vinegar and the water. I'm gonna turn the stove on, get that hot. I'm gonna go ahead and add my bay leaf and a few pimento seeds, sugar, get some sweetness. So we're gonna add the sugar, just one. I would say, I'm just gonna do two. It depends, if you like your cornbread really sweet, then hey, by all means, add more. You can taste it as you go forward. Go ahead and mix that up. I had the oven preheating at 400 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this in the oven for about, I would say, 15 to 20 minutes. It's all done, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just put it in some napkin to take some of the excessive oil away. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add the carrots first because carrots take a little bit longer to cook than onions. So I'm gonna add the carrots first and let the carrots cook a little bit and then add the onions. I'm gonna go ahead and add the onions. The carrots been boiling for about, I would say like seven minutes, eight minutes. Um, they're like partially soft. It depends on how you want your carrots. Do you want it still crunchy? Do you want it super soft? It just all depends on you. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add this same sauce into this pan and put the fish back in here and let it simmer down a little bit in the sauce. I'm gonna just go ahead and turn this off because it's all done. Remember, I was just doing it to get that sauce just embedded in the fish, just soak up all the juice because that thing is juicy. Juicy! Look at that. It is swimming in that juice, baby. So it's gonna be flavorful, okay? Check out my rice. Rice all done too. Rice and peas done, and the cornbread is on its way. Pun the wheel, pun the river, pun the book. All right, so cornbread is done. Let's go ahead and take that bad boy out. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, if you want, you can add a little butter on top. Why? Because butter gives it flavor. All right, so we are all done. Fish fry done, food done, rice done, cornbread done, time to eat. So here we have the final product of everything. We have here the fish, of course. All right, so now it will be time for plating. Okay, we have the rice, of course. All righty, and we have the cornbread. And then put my rice here. All right, now I'm gonna put my fish here. Okay. Now, the fish is really delicate, so be very careful. This, put that here, like so. Add a little extra. Stuff on top, like so. Gotta get one of the peppers on there too. Okay, even put one on top to make it all pretty. Now the cornbread, I'm gonna add the cornbread to the plate. 
all done and now it's time to dig in so again thank you for tuning in and kicking it with me today on kicking it in the kitchen with k me of course um and don't forget to subscribe comment and like send the link send the link to your friend them okay and um tune in again See you next time. Thanks for watching.